UFC veteran three-time title challenger Alexander Gustafsson is back. According to MMA Junkie, his next opponent is Ovin St. Preux at UFC 282. December 10th, in Las Vegas, Gustafsson last for fights across to different weight classes and up in loss. Gustafsson seeks his first win since May 2017, when he defeated Glover Teixeira by fifth-round knockout in his home country of Sweden. Islam Makachev is not really happy about Michael Chandler's claim at title shot. Chandler's claims for title is ridiculous. Got finished in the title fight and then beat old Tony who's 0-5 in last fight. Fight with young and hungry guys like Sarakin or Dober first and we'll see how good you are. Benil Daraish about Alexander Volkanovsky being the backup on UFC 280 and not him. It's Alexander Volkanovsky. I don't know if you saw it, but he came out and said that he's going to be the kind of fill-in in case Oliveira or Makachev don't make weight, get hurt, whatever. And I thought that's kind of weird because you got Benil Dariush already on the card with a seven-fight win streak. Have you? Did you petition to be a fill-in if necessary? Is that something that interests you? Like, what do you make of Volk saying he's now the guy? Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm not sure if he's playing games or the UFC's playing games because I was told I'm the fill-in. I've know? read that uh, too. I was, I mean, that's the whole point of having another lightweight fight on that card, just so, just in case something goes wrong. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I don't understand what, what, what uh, what's going on here. So I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, but ultimately, you know, I have one goal and that's, uh, it's Gamrot. But I, I really thought I was the fill in. That's what I was told. Was it like a matchmaker that told you that? Like, is it in the contract or is that just kind of like a verbal thing? No, 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 it's not on contract. Yeah, well, okay. manager said so. Manager said they were putting me on the card uh, same day. Because if not, why come all the way to Abu Dhabi? You know, uh, him and I could like headline a card and, and then we can fight somewhere or else. But the reason why they brought, brought us here just in case something goes wrong, we would uh, uh, like I would jump in and fill in for the main event. So I'm not uh, I'm not sure what that's all about. How Jermaine Sterling thinks DJ Dillashaw might come to this fight juiced up. I already made peace with it that I'm going to be fighting a guy that's more than likely. If they're rods, I would say about 90% this guy is finding another way to cheat, even if it's some type of microdosing or however that stuff works. He's willing to put more time into that than just do things the right way. I already made peace with that, there's a chance that I'm going to be fighting a guy that's already souped up. I think a lot of guys I fought in the past have been on some. Anyways, so this isn't going to be any different. The only thing I have to worry about is to make sure my cardio is going to be more than extraordinary just so I can keep the pace, because I know this guy is a little weasel that's going to find any way to get an advantage. He can say whatever he wants but he knows deep down inside how long. He's been doing all that cheating for and his teammates outed him. At the end of the day, it's just going to be the better man that day and if he's got to be the better man by using the supplements and all this other stuff that's on him. I know my hands are clean. I don't think he deserves to be rewarded with a championship pay opportunity after cheating and finally getting caught. Not just cheating this one time but finally getting caught from cheating. He's getting what I think a great opportunity because win or lose. He gets paid a lot more than he would just fighting at a regular pay scale for a fight even if it's main event. Tito Ortiz confirms rematch with Chael Sonnen. I'll be competing one last time in the beginning of February, stated Ortiz on the Adam Carolla show. Tito Ortiz vs Chael Sonnen number 2 will be happening at Freedom Fight Night. In MMA, not boxing, at 205 pounds. Henry Seyuho picks his favorite in the Aljamain Sterling vs. TJ Dillashaw fight. Um, you know, I'm going for TJ. Uh, at the beginning, I was going for Aljo, but I don't think Aljamain wants to fight me. And I think there's a bigger storyline with, uh, with me and TJ. So I come back, beat the brakes off of him, win my belt, go up to 145 pounds, and then beat the brakes out of, out of Alexander the Average. That's the plan. Oliveira kills Islam. Prove me wrong. We're going to see. We're uh, two weeks away, right? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks away. We will see. I'm interested in I'm interested in that fight. UFC, uh, what is it, 281? 
Yeah, UFC T UFC T UFC 280 is fire, man. They really uh they really steroid that thing up crazy. Peter Yin preparing for his fight against Sean O'Malley. Gilbert Burns picks his favorite in the Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev fight. Islam is a high level grappling as well. I heard from Luke Rockhold for different guys that he's very good. I still gonna put all my money on Oliveira. Imagine. You, you think he can solve him? I think he can because, because of the striking, because the combination, I think. I think the ground the grappling from from his line. with the, the grappling the, I'll, I'll break it down that that will be easier for for the guys to understand the grappling ground and pound from from his line is is, is is better than 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 Oliveira but Oliveira combining the striking with the clinch and with the submission attempts he's different like I think that's what makes him the best Alan Nascimento Kamzet's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coach about Kamzet's possible middleweight move. The 170 division is a bit stuck because there will be a rematch referring to a trilogy bout between champion Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman which has yet to booked. Chimev's situation at 170 is he either waits for the fight or serves as a backup fighter in case someone gets injured. But in case he moves up, a fight with a top, five guy would definitely be interesting but we don't rule out the possibility of even though i think it's very hard for adesanya to beat alex Pereira, adesanya would have beaten everyone in the top seven at least once to even twice in some cases so maybe we would jump the line and have a title fight at 185. we thought about going up but we have created a legacy at 170 already if we go up to 185, everything would have been for nothing except for the experience. But the focus is on becoming champion. Thanks for watching the pace. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated.